Man. South. Rabo Collins in team. Collins or guest in team. MP um, of East North. And I'm Obi Amwa. MP, a crap him south. The capital is a brief. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable. I agree with you that Article 78.2 basically just says the president has the right, I'm paraphrasing, to appoint those ministers that will ensure the efficient running of the state. What particular inefficiency currently exists at the ministry you are a deputy minister that requires you to be elevated to a minister of state? What inefficiency? Because the, the law says to, to ensure efficient running of the state. So if the president has already made you a deputy minister and trying to ele uh, elevate you to a minister of state, it means the president probably have noticed uh, an inefficiency. Though I'm aware that the current minister is very experienced and a very vet, uh, a veteran politician. What do you see as the current inefficiency at the local government ministry requiring you to be elevated and as, as you are elevated, that inefficiency will be cured? My good friend, Honorable Govins, the new chief whip, <laughs> powerful man. So, so you, I mean, this, this is on the lighter side because it's you. So is there any inefficiency in you becoming a chief whip? Actually, I replaced, I was not elevated in, alongside an existing chief whip. I am replacing somebody, so there's only one chief, chief whip of the minority yeah, currently. You, you, yes, thank you so much. I don't think you're interpreting the provision very well. The fact that the provision says for the efficient running of the state doesn't mean that if the president takes any decision, that means that there's inefficiency, that's why he's taking a decision. That is not the interpretation of the constitution. So you don't say that the president has elevated a deputy minister to minister of state because there's inefficiency. I don't think that's how you should put it. It would be too constricted. The, if the president thought I was inefficient, he would have replaced me, not upgrade me and say what inefficiency is he looking at. So let's, let's look at it in that way. Um, we've, we've spent about a third of the time here talking about Minister of State and the size of government. We, I don't, we've been here. I, I think we are still going back to the same situation. Um, probably there's very little I can add from what I've said so far because the other presidents in appointing um, ministers of state, even six at the presidency, they don't say that there's inefficiency. That's why they are appointing them. And our, our senior, senior colleagues and friends who were named three wise men, um, they were not put in uh, because there's inefficiency. But the, the president thought that he needed such team for the efficient running of the state. We, we can sit back and probably um, interrogate it, but that doesn't mean that the, it's because of inefficiency that he's placing anybody anywhere. I, I beg to differ on that interpretation. Well, my point was based on Article 78.2, and I read again. The president shall appoint such number of ministers of state as may be necessary for the efficient running of the state. The president is not supposed to appoint ministers for the sake of appointing them. It is supposed to be an action that will help him run the state efficiently. So the point I'm making is that you are three deputy ministers together with a very experienced leader as the minister. So the question is, what is the reason for elevating you? Is there an efficiency already within your portfolio that your elevation will cure? 
Well, um, local government ministry is a very large ministry. Very large. Indeed, it's being added on. I've sat here and spoken about three key projects that we have to deliver. So, if for any reason, the president thinks that he can still keep this team at the ministry. I don't think that we are talking about inefficiency. And uh, yes, it's, it's for the efficient running of the place. We are still there. And we, we, apart from the projects that I've spoken about, the property rate administration is a Honourable, huge area. Honorable Senior Deputy Minister, just uh, answer that, questions. That, 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 leave, leave, leave the argument out. You answer the question, don't make the argument further, so we can move faster. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman. Uh, I was very excited when the President uh, decided to completely remove the position of Deputy Regional Ministers. Do you realize that the country didn't appear to be lacking any uh, efficiency in managing the, the regions, even though the Deputy Ministers have been taken out? Have you? No, I, I don't agree with you. Not at all. Um, I mean, even for, for a region to be run without a deputy, it's a very difficult situation. I mean, they, for any reason, the minister is not available. Who, who acts? Is it a public servant? We have 43 districts in Ashanti. And then the minister would have to uh, be absent for various reasons. Who runs the place? We have to take another minister from the centre to go and run the place. So. For anything, um, so you disagree with the president for removing deputy regional minister? Uh, you, you are putting words in my mouth. <laughs> you were saying that it's working very well. I'm saying that, um, we have, we have, yes, the, the situation is not as you see it. The situation is as you see it. You, you try to drive to a point where you say that if you don't need deputy ministers in the region, very soon we don't need deputy ministers in the ministries. And very soon, one minister should run for ministries. Uh, I don't think we should get to that point. So are you admitting that the president's decision was not well con uh, thought oh, is out? This, or is this cross-examination? <laughs> you put it to me. Are you putting it I'm to me? I'm not putting it. I'm asking you whether you think uh, the sorry, president's kindly. decision was not well thought out. Can, um, I think, uh, let me moderate. Can we ask the question in another way? Yes, okay. Will you say the president's no. decision was not appropriate? Because as you have admitted, his decision has actually made things worse. Because in your words, the absence of a regional minister now makes coordinating of district chief executives difficult. So what do you want the president to do now? He has deputy ministers, you complain. He takes them out, you, you complain. What else do you want the president to do? The president, in his wisdom, has decided that this is the team that he has to use. But does he mean that... Honorable Biyama, let's <laughs> avoid arguments. You are not sitting here, now you are sitting there. You are the nominee, not a it's member. Put words in my mouth that I am saying the president has this, that. That's what, what I've said. Uh, Please, and, and this is a third time you say that. Honorable Obiamua, I can suspend your uh, your consideration for the next three days. <laughs> uh, right. Well, all I'm saying, this thing is that answer the questions, yes or no. Cut out the argument. Yes, he says. Would you say the president, did, do you agree or not? Oh, leave it there. The president has not heard. I'm just drawing your attention that you cannot, over this short period, say that uh, it's, it's good, so he has to carry it through. That's all. Okay, just for.